Okay, here is another couple experiments messing around with um, the gaze control system. So, um, there's a couple maps that I'm pretty sure control head and eye position. If I go down here, eat, the more obvious one is um, head P here. If I disconnect the input to it, then C. Look at this. His eyes are moving. And if I move over to the side, his eyes will follow me. But his head never turns. As soon as I move far enough that his eyes can't follow without his head getting involved, he loses sight of me. If I get him to walk, You'll see as he yeah, that he can like walk around to follow. He can turn to follow me, but his head still stays in line with his body at all times. So head piece seems to be the, the essential for the ability to change their head position. Uh, and the second one, I'm pretty sure it controls eye position. It's called IP. I'll show, I'll show you what happens if I disconnect it. And as you can see, he's blinking. He'll also turn his head to look at me. But his eyes don't move. Only his head moves to try to follow me. His eyes are always, like, right in the middle of there. They're not even doing that little jiggling thing that the gloops pretty much always do with their eyes. That it's probably because they're constantly making minute adjustments to how they're look looking at something. But he he doesn't his eyes are just still. His head will move to look at me, but his eyes won't. Another odd thing is that although he's clearly looking at me and following me and such, the vision thing... Oh, no, okay, now it's saying he's looking at main camera. For a while it was saying he was looking at nothing, even though he was looking, but quite obviously trying to follow me. I mean, 
like see here it's doing it again. I shift position, you can see he's tracking me, but it, the vision thing is saying he's looking at nothing. I wonder what that is. Anyway. Now, another thing I'm going to try. And this I haven't tried before, but we'll see. Uh, I think it should work. I'm going to go to head P, and instead of taking away the input, I'm going to take away the one of the outputs, the head H. Now, if my guess is right, that should make it that he can change. Um, yeah, you can move his head from side to side, but not up and down. So. Okay, well, he seems to be drooping his head now. I wonder what that's about. I guess he can ma move his head up and down. He doesn't seem to be using it to look at things. What if I make him lie down? That might make it easier for him to look at something. Okay, now he's looking. He was looking at me briefly. Okay, I think he can... He can control, he can move his head up and down, but he can't control where it's looking based on, where it is based on what he's looking at. It's like he's, it's like his head goes down when he's trying to, when he's actually trying to move it. It's like his head's going up or down when he's actually trying to move it side to side. It's interesting. Okay, so, um, when I removed head H, it made it that he would move his head up or down instead of moving it side to side. So, if I remove head V, will he move his head side to side when he's trying to move it up and down? Let's see. So. Okay, he's turning his head to watch me move. But he's always keeping it at the same alignment. If I get him to lie down, it should be a bit easier for him to... It, like it's always v vertically the same, but it's but he can move it horizontally. I'm not seeing him trying to. I, I wonder what would happen though if I were to. No, that's not doing anything. Hmm. If I could maybe get him looking at the ball, maybe that might be a better way to test out what I suspect is going on. So if I plunk him there, okay, yeah, he's watching me now. Um, oops. All right. Okay, now he is, but he's not actually looking at it. It says vision, looking at stimulus tester, but he's not pointing his head towards it. He's pointing his head towards me. Oh, and 
Oh, maybe he was looking at the blue one. Which was right next to me. That might be it. Back! Stupid flies. I'm having a lot of problems with flies lately. does seem to bobble his head side to side a bit. It's harder to test. Twitches his head more, probably to compensate. So that... So that works. Let's have a look at what happens if we disconnect IP from IV. Which I think is probably high vertical, high horizontal, that sort of thing. Yeah. So. No, he's certainly turning his head to look at me. I mean, he's also turning his eyes to look at me. His eyes move up and up and down. It's come up really close. Oh, I am hitting his nose. Um, yeah, if you look at the way his eyes are jiggling, they're only jiggling side to side, not up and down. If I make him lie down, he tilts his head up to look at me, but his eye eyes are still like right in the middle between the top and bottom of his head. Even, even though, as you can see, horizontally, he will put his eyes, he will put his pupils to the side. I think I'm right there. The, um, the head P and eye P maps control head and eye position by communicating to the head V and head H and IV and IH which are the vertical and horizontal axes of the head and eye position. So. So I think 
think that's a pretty good 